And now, here to present this year's outstanding achievement in sport is our sponsor, Badarians Asset Management, Joint Managing Directors, Arif and Maria Saeed, and former England cricketer, Devon Malcolm. Uh, the winner of this year's Outstanding Achievement Award need no introduction to those of you who follow cricket. Look around. I can tell that there's a few of you who do. Let's hear about this winner, illustrious career. A former cricketer described as being one of the best three wrist spinners in the world. World renowned for his bowling skill, this skilled practitioner competed at a world-class level throughout a professional career spanning 13 years from 1990 to 2003. He made his first class cricket debut in January 1987 at the age of 16 and made his full international debut two short years later in March 1989, playing a one-day international against Sri Lanka. This individual continued to perform at elevated level throughout 1992, leading to the Pakistan cricket team's Cricket World Cup win. Through his most fruitful years of professional cricket, he played his first spell of county cricket, appearing for Somerset from 1993 to 1998, during which time Eddie Lawrence described him as one of Somerset's best ever overseas signings. He played 62 first-class matches for the county with an exceptional scorecard of 289 wickets. In 1997, he was named amongst the Wisden Cricketers of the Year, in which he was described as being a member of a glittering triumvirate of wrist spinners who adorn the modern game. In 2014, he was appointed Pakistan cricket team's bowling consultant, and in April 2016, he was selected to act as head coach of Pakistan's National Cricket Academy. In November 2018, he was appointed as the assistant coach and spin consultant of the West Indies national cricket team. This evening, we recognize a prolific sporting career, followed by a foundation-building effort in coaching the new crop of tomorrow's athletes, and award this sports superstar with the award for Outstanding Achievement in Sport. The winner is Mushtaq Ahmed. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Allah who blessed me for this. I want to say thank you to my parents. They're not with me anymore. They left this world, but they really worked hard for my career. I would like to say thank you to my wife. Uh, she sacrificed a lot on my playing days, even in my coaching days now. I would like to say thank you to my children also. And I would like to say thank you to the Pakistani people who supported me on my bad days and good days. So I would like to say thank you to all of those people, friends. But I would like to say thank you to Imran Khan also. When I started playing for Pakistan, I was very young, 19 years old. And I remember, you know, like the press really went after me. And uh, they criticized me, you know, like he's not good enough cricketer to play for Pakistan because my first class cricket team used to put me on a bench. One day I was training in Qaddafi Stadium, Lahore. So me and Imran Khan was training together. He was my captain. So he came down, we finished the training. He put his hand on my shoulder and he said one thing. I still remember that word. He said, Mushi, as long as I'm a captain, nobody can touch you. I want you to express yourself. I want to, you, I want to let you go and just express yourself. Trust me, I had a 22 years career, playing career, and I still remember Imran Khan's words in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to share one thing with you. You can have a goals, you can have a dreams in your life. But let me tell you, to achieving that goals, you got to be doing a few fundamental things. Hard work, discipline, and never ever worried about the consequences. As a sportsman, I want to share one thing. Doesn't matter you're a businessman, you've got a family, or whatever, whatever you do in your life. 
but let me tell you one thing never ever worried about the results because every time you get fail every time you get fail and make your destiny come close to you because you know what failure make you successful that's why i learn from my cricket i learn from my sports you know what because at the moment in the world when we are sitting with our families with the children when we talk about the consequences we don't say good things front of our children and when they become elders when they become sportsmen or businessmen they become so naive and so negative so i want to share that with you guys because there's a plenty of parents sitting in this hall never ever say negative things whenever you are down please pick you up trust me every failure is going to make you successful and that's why i want to share last things before i leave please respect your parents shortest way the quickest way to become successful and peaceful man in this world because my father is left i came from very humble background very humble pakistan and i was i belong to a very small village my father was a very hard working man very poor man but he he taught me one thing a dignity you know you can be a poor man but you still can achieve your dreams with what with the hard work with the passion and i remember you know on christmas day on eid days you know maybe he didn't bought his clothes didn't buy his watch didn't buy his shoes he bought me a bat so i can play and i can represent my country and i did that you know why because my father and my mother sacrificed a lot for me and that's why i'm going to say to you guys please look after your uh, mother and father because they are the most important people in your life that's important last things before i go life is too short i try to express my feelings whenever i'm down when i'm not feeling lonely whenever i'm feeling in depression when i played for somerset somebody told me a one prayer and i want to share that prayer with you guys because tonight i felt i want to share that i'm sorry i'm taking a bit long time but this is important prayer which is i have to tell you the prayer is that helps me it will help you doesn't matter what religion you are from doesn't matter you black white pakistani indians english wherever you from but that prayer helps me and will help you whenever you lonely please remember that words oh my creator make me successful in this world and the world is there after i want to see the light when you say that from your heart trust me you can see the light once again i would like to say thank you to the jury thank you to providing me this beautiful gift and i want to say you know this is for pakistan and pakistani people will proud of that and i would like to say all the people who supported me and my family thank you very much ladies and gentlemen good luck and all bless you may allah bless you forever thank you very much